In this tutorial, let us talk about running generators in parallel. I will show you how to synchronize, load sharing, and changeover of generators. Most switchboards nowadays have automatic synchronization. With just a press of a button, generators can be easily parallel. Joining my current ship, I was lucky enough to experience to synchronize generators manually. There are three conditions to run generators in parallel. First, generators must have the same phase sequence. Phase sequence refers to the order of phases, specifically for three-phase generators. In this figure, if the running generator has red, blue, and white phases, or RST, in order, the incoming generator or generators must also have the same order of phases. Secondly, generators must have the same voltage. Voltage refers to the difference of the highest and lowest point of the voltage. And lastly, generators must have the same frequency. Frequency refers to the speed of the cycle. For this figure, a 60 Hz frequency, a cycle is made every 1 over 60 s of a second. Or, 60 cycles is made for every 1 second. Now that we now know the basics of paralleling generators, we can now start to actually run generators in parallel. You can see that one generator is already connected to the bus bar. This is called the running generator. And the generator that is to be connected to the bus bar is called the incoming generator. I will divide this process of paralleling generators into four steps. The first step is to run the prime over engine of the incoming generator. This is often called generator engine, auxiliary engine, or in some cases, main engine. It is sometimes called the main engine if it is the largest engine on the ship. In our case, the largest engine is our propulsion engine, which can generate up to 8 megawatts of power. Compared to our diesel generator, it is rated only at 500 kilowatts. Now that the incoming generator engine is running, the second step is synchronization. It means to copy the running generator's parameters to the incoming generator. For phase sequence, generators are already installed by the ship's plan. Often we don't really need to manipulate the order of it. Unless you are to install a new generator to the system, then you need to have a phase sequence indicator and check whether the phase sequence are in correct order. For voltage, make sure that the selector switch for voltmeter and frequency are selected to the correct generator. Check if they are equal. If not, you can manipulate the voltage of the incoming generator by adjusting the voltage regulator. For frequency, you can manipulate it by adjusting the speed of the prime mover through its governor. If the parameters are already synchronized, the third step is subscribing to my channel and closing the circuit breaker. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button below. To close circuit breaker, incoming generator circuit breaker must be closed when their frequency angles are in sync. Switch on Synchroscope and select the incoming generator. The Synchroscope must be rotating slowly clockwise. This means that the incoming generator's frequency is slightly faster than the running generator. If the Synchroscope is rotating counterclockwise, it means that the frequency is slower than the running generator. Due to the reaction delay, of the operator and the time to close the circuit breaker, we normally close the circuit breaker at 11 o'clock. After successfully closing the circuit breaker to the bus bar, switch off synchroscope. The final step is load sharing. Once circuit breaker is closed, the generators are already running in parallel, with one running at full load and the other without load. Load is added to the newly connected generator. This is to avoid it from becoming a motor, which will cause a reverse power trip. Load is also subtracted to the other generator. 
This is to maintain the system's frequency. Continue to add and subtract load until desired load share is reached. Yun. Huh? Oh, oh. Yay, we're back. Check on top. 